Welcome to my channel, I'm Bea. My channel is about art journaling, mixed media, collage, assemblage and anything else that sparks my interest. Now enjoy my video. Hi all! Today I'm going to play a little bit with uh, mixed media paper and some card craft stock. I'm going to make uh, ATC coins for a swap over at Analysis Mixed Media Everything. I'm going to have the link to her Facebook group down below. So I'm going to start with some wax, water soluble wax crayon and um, I think I'm going to start with the uh, rainbow. I just do first the background. And then I go on for the actual theme, which is one theme is um, springtime and the other theme is um, travel, which is very appropriate for me as I'm going to be soon traveling to the Seattle area and having some fun there. Those are the Amsterdam from Royal Talents, the wax, the oil pastels and um, Uh, you can use any other um, water soluble crayons, you are not bound to those. So next I'm going to go in with some stays on. I just always like to have a little bit of a script going on in the background. And I'm using two pieces of, there are too much, two pieces of foam just because there is just a plain rubber stamp with no cautioning, nothing at all. Still I don't look for a perfect print, I just want something going on. So I also switch direction and I switch the areas where I st uh, add the, the ink. And I don't mind if it is overlapping, in fact I like it. I'm going to use this uh, suitcase. Uh, I know I, I, won't, I won't see all the suitcase but I'm fine with that. And I'm going to emboss it with some copper. These uh, ATC cones are for a swap but also for the ATC club I run in my studio. So. Okay, just have to jump in with the voice over here. Too much noise in the background. So anyone who likes to participate in this club is welcome. Just go to my website www.beogrop.com to find more information. So I have stamped it four times and I know you can't see it. Hopefully I can see it when I pour the powder.
Now for the spring theme, I'm going to use this uh, stamped die set. I have, sorry, no idea where, what kind of brand it is. I just did like it and did buy it. And I uh, did um, repackaging all my stamp and die sets to gain a little bit of space, basically. So let's see how that works. And for that, I actually going to use a black. Um, embossing ink. That's a heavy cardstock I'm using here for that uh, part. Here it is. <laughs> so I'm gonna hmm, black. I think I'm gonna go for the dark purple instead of the black. So I have already pre-cut some base for the coins, which are from this uh, punch, which is two and a half inch. So I gonna, a coin has to be stored dirty. So I have the craft cardstock from Canvas Corp brand and that's a Bristol paper. That's gonna be my base. The white because I can write on it and I just like the look of the craft cardstock, but for the colored paper, I'm gonna um, punch slightly smaller. It's like two and a quarter. So I'm gonna punch them out. Now I use a simple glue stick to glue them together but I want to make sure that I go right to the edge of the paper so here comes my handy dandy glue book. So my next step is to add those um, painted stamped papers and this time I again I'm taking a little bit more time now because I have to center them. Not too bad. The first one. Just making sure that it really sticks. And I may actually grab a heavy book and put them under the book. So I'm gonna put them under this book out of the of your view just to make sure that they stay where they have to stay. So my next step is to color in them a little bit and I'm gonna use the same wax crayons as I have used them on the background. They're still here uh, under the heavy book, but I do use them slightly different. I simply scribble a little bit on my stamping pad. It's an acrylic block and some purple. It's here. I have two different 
kind of papers. One is a marker paper and the other is a Bristol paper. They're probably going to pick up the paint a little bit different, but I'm okay with that. In fact, I think a little bit of a variation is nice too. Okay, now on to the flowers. I'm certainly going to use some green. It's really a really light application and it is on top of the embossing powder so but still you get the idea of some green going on. I guess that's a dogwood, the flower here, and I uh, really like them. We do have one white dogwood with really large blossoms, and we have a smaller Japanese dogwood which has pink blossoms. And I was talking about pink, so I'm gonna add pink for the flowers. And um, what I also want to do, I'm going to go around the coins with some distress ink. I did have, oh here it is. And uh, I switched the colors uh, depending on what I have on this uh, painted paper. So let's see how that works. Well, I think the yellow doesn't work. Not so much. I have to change that. So mustard seed is the better, the better solution. I need my pocket tool. 
there's still a leftover from the last piece. I think that is running dry. Yeah, that's better. Okay, up to the trash can. <laughs> So for the flowers I decided to do the same thing like with the suitcases. I'm gonna cut them in a round. It's, it's a little bit awkward because you have to fiddle those things in. But I think it is worth it. This one actually went pretty well. So, and I'm gonna use the black marker again just along the round edge. gives it a little bit more definition and again I'm going to use foam dots to pop them up and I'm rather generous and then I turn around and figure out how I want it I think something like So the next step is going to be, I'm going to add little words and I did make a sheet of words on those uh, self-adhesive uh, label papers. Uh, I'm going to have a file in the free member area www.beagrop.com where you can download it. I'm going to work a little bit more on it. I just figured out I should have Done instead of pink maybe a blue background so I'm gonna play around it's, it's gonna be a full sheet of words with backgrounds and without backgrounds and in different fonts so if you are interested go head over there so what I also did I did etch all the coins with the black marker additionally to the distressing I did before it just gives a little bit more definition it's just something I like to do it's totally optional if you don't want to do that just lift it step out but I think it just makes such a difference and I also go along the words when they are not black just to make them outstand a little bit more and to finish them up I know it's a tiny thing, but I think it's worth it. I do the adventure. And I don't put it always on the same place. In fact, I just go look around where I think I would like it. And I think this time I like it here.
and I also add a little bling just because I can <laughs> no specific reason but sometimes I just feel like I need a little bling um, maybe here. and also with the with the blings I did it put it in different places So here we are. Don't forget to put your name and your uh, um, the title of your ATC on the back and the date. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe and share on whatever social media you are on. Till soon!